What's up, everyone? I'm sitting here on my balcony. I'm going to do a quick two watches show. Not much of a review. Just show them. Seems like I when I always do a review on this particular watch, which I love. I bought this in Coles, no less, in Connecticut. I'll never forget it. It was on sale when they thought they weren't going to sell watches, but they're way overpriced. But I'll show it in a second. It's a great watch. Seems like I always mess around with that watch and there's like a storm coming but it's been threatening all day but nothing's happening i just want to show you the mountains over here this is a shot from my balcony nice it was threatening to rain all day got my chimes up here So I just uh, figured it was going to rain, so I'll show these two watches real quick. This watch needs no introduction. It's the SKS009. Talk about wanting to see if something's waterproof. This thing is... Sorry about the camera there. This thing is about the best you could... One of the best dive watches that came out. I got it for 200 and something dollars right before it went up and now it's like a thousand bucks I love the watch I went on a trip with it screw down crown uh, 200 meters you know professional dive watch it's like a cult, cult uh, following now this watch great and then this watch here packs a lot of function for a little mild mounted watch it's, uh, boy, those chimes are really, the wind's kicking up a little, but there's no rain yet. Um, this is a, I forgot the, the, the thing on this watch, hold on. Um, this thing has, uh, world time, three alarms, uh, data bank. This is the AW80. AW80, they, they come in uh, quite a few models. On the digital, you could have uh, the digital time on the bottom, or, or you could have it say Saturday 6 3. I haven't touched this watch in a while, and the time is great on it. I mean, I could touch the time up on it if I wanted to. I don't know which changes it, I haven't used it for a while. So, yeah, that tells the digital time. Um, you could always uh, touch it up and uh, with the atomic clock if you want. But what a great watch. Loom on the hands. I think this loom on the dial has a great light. I'm trying to figure out where the light is on this thing. It's the top one. It has a great light on the 3 o'clock and 9 o'clock. And it does a fairly good job. But you, it's, it's a mild-mannered watch. I mean, not intrusive. Not tiny, but not gigantic watch, but it packs a lot of punch. That's what I said earlier. I don't even own a lot of G-Shocks. I only have three because these regular Casios are like, they pack a lot of punch, man. And you get a lot. You get uh, world time, uh, data bank, regular time, digital time, analog. This one, you throw it, throw it on headset, and then you press it and then it goes around to the digital time then you stop it at the digital time the digital time you set like any other digital time hours seconds and uh, hours minutes and second and seconds simple simple and very non intrusive watch um, very cool watch I love it I do wear it now and then, I should wear it more, just like I, with the Seiko, I should wear it more, but I I try to preserve it and wear it sparingly for like, if I go on a trip or really hardcore swimming, you know, I love this watch though. The, like I said in many other videos, the only thing I would change about this watch, I would get, I would love to get the uh, Jubilee bracelet for it, just Seiko Jubilee bracelet, not an aftermarket one, a Seiko one. That would be that would make that watch, in my opinion. Anyway, looks like rain coming in. I hope everyone has uh, 
a great Saturday, a great rest of your weekend, and uh, peace out, everyone. Peace out. Two great watches. Can't beat them. You don't have to spend a lot to have a good watch, especially with Casio around. They make great watches. Anyway, I'm out. Peace out, everyone. Peace out.